Jalen Brown just revealed his real lifestyle. It's not what you think. Hey, we all love Jalen Brown. We are all aware of the kind of lifestyle he enjoys, right? But of what I tell you, this is not the entire truth. Yes, you heard right. There's still a lot of things you need to know about. So I say hello, friends, and welcome back to Hoops Today. So here we are back again with another revealing topic. Jalen Brown's lifestyle is not what you have thought till now. So what is the entire truth? Well, watch this full video to know everything about it. And before we do that, please let us know in the comment box, how big of a fan are you of Jalen Brown? And also subscribe to our channel so you can watch more videos just like this one. Jalen Brown, born October 24, 1996, plays for the Boston Celtics of the NBA. He played one year for the California Golden Bears and was awarded the Pac-12 Freshman of the Year. After his freshman year, Brown entered the 2016 NBA draft and was picked third overall by the Celtics. Professionally, he's played shooting guard and small forward. First-time NBA All-Star Brown helped the Celtics reach the NBA Finals in 2022. Brown attended Marietta High School. As a senior, he led his team to the Georgia High School State Athletic Association 6A State Championship. Jim Brown's free throws with .6 seconds left gave Wheeler a 59-58 victory. Brown had 28 points and 11 rebounds in a 76-70 win over Harry Giles and Wesleyan Christian Academy, 24 points and 8 rebounds in a 61-40 win over Malik Monk and Bentonville High School, 25 points, 12 rebounds, and 6 assists in a 75-65 win over Ben Simmons and Montford Academy, and 29 points and 15 rebounds against Huntington Prep. As a senior, Brown averaged 28 points and 12 rebounds for 30-3 Wheeler. This was just a quick about his brief life story. How many of you inspired to become like him? Well, subscribe to our channel and make sure you hit the bell icon so you're always notified of our latest videos. Brown earned a 2014 FIBA Americas Championship gold medal with Team USA. In 2015, he played in the McDonald's All-American Boys game. After his high school career, Brown was selected Gatorade Georgia Boys Player of the Year, USA Today's All-USA Georgia Player of the Year, and Georgia's Mr. Basketball and Class 6A Player of the Year. 2016-17 Rookie Year The Boston Celtics drafted Brown third overall in the 2016 NBA Draft on June 23rd. After averaging 16 points, 6.2 rebounds, and 2.3 steals in six summer league games, he signed on July 27th. He made his Celtics debut on October 26th against the Brooklyn Nets, scoring 9 points on 3-for-4 four four shooting with 2 blocks in 19-plus minutes. In his first career start on November 3rd, Brown scored 19 points against the Cleveland Cavaliers. He scored 20 points in a 128-98 victory against the Orlando Magic on January 27, 2017. Brown helped the Celtics earn the number one seed in the Eastern Conference and progress to the Eastern Conference Finals, where they lost in five games to the Cavaliers. Brown had a good first season in 2016-2017, and his role off the bench grew. During the regular season, he played 78 games for the Celtics and started 20. He averaged 17.2 minutes, 6.6 .6 points, 2.8 rebounds, and 0.8 assists per game. At the season's conclusion, he made the NBA All-Rookie second team. 2017-2018, his sophomore year. In the Celtics' 2017 and 18 season opener against the Cavaliers, Brown scored a career-high 25 points. On November 18th, he scored 27 points to help the Celtics beat the Hawks 110-99 for their 15th consecutive win. On 12-13, he scored 26 against the Nuggets. Brown's concussion lasted two weeks in March of 2018. He scored 32 points in a 111-104 victory against the Chicago Bulls on April 6, 2018. In Game 2 of the Celtics' first-round playoff series against the Milwaukee Bucks, Brown scored a playoff career-high 30 points. At age 21, Brown became the youngest Celtic to score 30 or more in a playoff game. Brown scored 34 points in a 104-102 defeat in Game 4 to record a playoff career best. The Celtics won in seven games, with Brown missing the series opener with an injured hamstring. He returned in Game 2 against the Philadelphia 76ers, scoring 13 points off the bench in a 108-103 victory. In Game 5, Brown scored 24 points to win, 114-112. In Game 6 of the Eastern Conference Finals, Brown scored 27 points in a 109-99 defeat. Struggles in 2018 and 19 Brown started the season poorly, with the Boston Globe criticizing his lack of attention and discipline. After the Celtics opened the season 10-10, ESPN's Jackie McMullen said Brown disappointed them the most. 
After missing three games with a sore lower back, Brown scored 21 points in a 128-100 victory against the Knicks on December 6th. Two days later, he scored 28 points against the Chicago Bulls. On December 31st, he scored 30 points in a defeat against the Spurs. Breakthrough in 2019-2020. Brown inked a $42 million agreement with the Celtics. He scored 34 points against the Cavaliers on December 28, 2019. In January, he skipped the NBA All-Star game. In 2020, Brown Celtics reached the Eastern Conference Finals for the third time in his NBA career after beating the 76ers and the Toronto Raptors in four and seven games respectively. In the Conference Finals, the Miami Heat beat Boston in six games. First All-Star in the 2020-2021 season. On December 30th, 2020, Brown scored 42 points with five rebounds and four assists in a 126-107 victory against Memphis. On February 24th, 2021, Brown was chosen as a reserve NBA All-Star for the first time. On April 15th, Brown scored 40 points against the Lakers. Brown's career-best season ended with four games remaining due to a damaged scaphopholinate ligament in his left wrist. NBA Finals debut in 2021-22. In the Celtics season opener on October 20th, 2021, Brown scored 46 points and a 138 to 134 double overtime defeat to the Knicks. He established a Celtics franchise record for points on an opening night. On January 2nd, 2022, Brown scored 50 points with 11 rebounds and a 116 to 111 overtime win against the Orlando Magic. On March 18th, in a 126 to 97 victory against the Sacramento Kings, Brown and Jason Tatum both scored at least 30 points in the game for the fourth time this season and eighth time overall, matching a record with Larry Bird and Kevin McHale, who also had four such games in the 1986-87 NBA season. In the next game, a 124-104 win against Denver, Brown and Jason Tatum each scored 30 points again in the same game on over 60% shooting. All right, people, let us know which of his works you like the best so far. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, make sure you subscribe to our Hoops Today channel. In Game 2 of the Eastern Conference Semifinals on May 3rd, Brown scored 25 of his 30 points in the first half and added 6 rebounds, 6 assists, and 2 steals in a 109-86 victory against the Milwaukee Bucks. Four days later, he had 27 points, 12 rebounds, and 4 assists in Game 3. In Game 3 of the Eastern Conference Finals, Brown scored 40 points on 14 of 20 shooting against the Miami Heat. Brown scored 24 points, grabbed 6 rebounds, and dished out 6 assists in Game 7 as the Celtics defeated the Heat 196 to a advanced to the NBA Finals for the first time in Brown's career and the Celtics first since 2010. In Game 1 of the Finals, Brown scored 24 points, grabbed 7 rebounds, and dished out 5 assists. He scored 27 points, had 9 rebounds, and 5 assists in Game 3 of the Finals to give the Celtics a 2-1 series lead. Boston lost to Golden State in 6 games, despite Brown's 34-point Game 6 effort. Brown is a vegetarian who likes to learn Spanish, study history, meditate, and read philosophy. He's a soccer and anime aficionado. Many call him uncommon athlete with goals beyond basketball. Brown, who is black, gathered a mostly black advisory council before the NBA draft, but didn't employ an agency. He was regarded as too intellectual to play in the NBA, but several scouts worried he would tire of basketball and seek other careers. Some saw this as bigotry towards African Americans. Okay, this video will be it for now. If you have any thoughts on this video, please make sure you share them with us in the comment section below. And how many of you wish that you could live this way? Like and share our content with your friends if you like it. And to get alerts wherever we post new videos, make sure you subscribe to our channel and click that bell icon. Thanks for watching.